I've got a friend coming out from the UK for a few days, so I thought it might be nice to take a self-drive safari to Kruger National Park. Now, Kruger, for those of you who don't know it, is vast. At 20,000 square kilometers, I think it might be bigger than Israel. So we're going to be driving from the southern edge of Kruger up to a camp in the center called Mopani. And Mopani is famous for its elephants. So for this reason, I like to call this route the Elephant Road. We're back in the Kruger National Park again, and I'm here because my friend James has come out from the UK uh, to visit for a few weeks. And uh, we're busy sitting here with a bunch of baboons, photographing them. We've just arrived, and it's quite exciting to be back in the bush for the first time in about a month. And it's winter here at the moment, so very dry, and we're hoping to see some interesting animals as we drive north into the depths of the Kruger further towards a camp called Mopani, which is uh, famous for elephants and buffalo. trio of Nyala, which is a, a lovely coloured uh, type of buck or antelope. They typically like to hide out in thick wooded areas and are, are usually quite difficult to see and photograph. So we're just going to hang around next to these guys and we've parked ourselves next to a little gap in the trees. And the idea here is hopefully this Nyala will graze into the gap and give James an opportunity to photograph it out of the left window. Well, we've been driving for about, uh, what, three hours now, and uh, it's a little bit of a miscalculation because Mopani is actually quite far north in Kruger, and we entered the park from the south. And we weren't quite aware of how far we had to travel. Four hours, four hour, a bit hours worth of uh, driving at the park speed limit of 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, to get to Mopani. So it's quarter past, 20 past three at the moment, and we've got another 90 kilometers or so. So we've got time to, to get to Mopani. But what it means for us is that we're having to spend very little time with some of the beautiful sightings that we've had on the road. Some nice sightings of elephants, breeding herds of elephants with young calves, uh, a tawny eagle uh, that had just killed a rock dassie and a rock hyrax and uh, actually a pair of lions that were lying in the sun, sunbathing. We couldn't spend that crucial quality time with them because of poor planning. Luckily for us though, we're traveling up the Tar Road, the main road up in the center of Kruda, and that's a little bit raised, especially in this area around Satara Camp, which has a lovely dry savanna woodland and grassland, which is really nice for seeing plains game out in the felt and on the fields and we can uh, just spy it as we drive past it.
So Mopani uh, has quite a nice uh, setup here. We've got a microwave, a little kitchen, uh, lots of utensils and things in the cupboards, fridge all outside on the veranda. We've got James editing some exciting photos taken with the Tamron 150 to 600, which he'll show us later when he's had a few more beers. And uh, yeah, quite a nice little cabin. Got a top and bottom bunk bed, bathroom with a shower, I think. I think there's a shower somewhere. Jeez, I hope there's a shower. There is a shower, fantastic. And uh, a master bedroom, thankfully, with twin beds. Looking forward to my sleep tonight, that's for sure. So James doesn't want to talk because he's got a mouthful of Pringles which he's not sharing with anyone. And uh, and another cheek full of beer. Uh, but I'm going to ask him anyway because he's just bought the new Tamron... Quite old. Well, a new to him Tamron uh, 150 to 600. And uh, he's going to give us his impressions. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> He doesn't want to give us impressions. <laughs> so it's been a tough day, 14 hours drive up from Johannesburg to Mapani Camp in, uh, in the middle of the Kruger National Park. But it's been good, we've seen uh, quite a few animals, just we didn't have any time whatsoever to stop and photograph them. So uh, plenty of elephant, plenty of young elephant, herds around, a couple of basking lions in the afternoon sun, and uh, hopefully my friend James from the UK on his trip out here has a couple of pictures at least that he can show us if he lets us license them for this YouTube video.